Hi everyone, and welcome to this video tutorial on creating extended WAN 2.2 videos. I'll guide you through the process of generating longer, more dynamic videos using this method. We'll examine a few examples to illustrate the workflow and discuss the parameters involved. First, let's take a look at the user interface and workflow. It's designed to be intuitive and comfortable to use. We'll begin with an initial image, which serves as the foundation for our video. This image provides the visual basis for the AI to generate the animation. Next, we'll craft a text prompt that describes the desired action or scene. For instance, in our first example, the prompt instructs the AI to create a cinematic, realistic zoom out effect while the subject rotates. The prompt should be detailed and specific, including elements like camera movement and overall mood. In this case, the prompt specifies front of the mirror inside, indicating the setting and includes instructions like zoom out slowly, cinematic realistic zooms out and rolls around to guide the animation style. Now let's delve into the settings. We're using the 12 shift and UniPC sampler with six steps. This combination, along with the Light Xlora model, is chosen for its efficiency and quality. We've also implemented a high noise and low noise pass twice to refine the final output. The resulting video is approximately 25 seconds long, demonstrating the potential for creating longer videos with this technique. We can even extend the duration up to 30 seconds. The output video exhibits impressive realism and detail. Notice how the subject interacts with the environment, placing her iPhone on the side and performing a dance. Even small details, like the movement of her handbag, contribute to the overall realism. Moving on to our second example, we'll use a different image and prompt. This video will be around 20 seconds long, consisting of 21 frames. The prompt here is wide, short, followed by a description of the action. The girl is showing peace sign and everything. We're maintaining the same settings as the previous example. 12 shift, six steps, etc. The resulting video, again, displays high quality and realism. The hand movements are particularly noteworthy with accurate depiction of five fingers. Finally, let's explore a third example featuring a male subject. This highlights the importance of refining prompts and experimenting with different settings to achieve the desired outcome. Further adjustments to the prompt, such as specifying the type of stretching or the degree of movement, could improve the realism of this particular animation. This iterative process of refining prompts and parameters is key to mastering this technique and creating compelling extended WAN 2.2 videos. I believe that reverting to a shift value of 12 will yield improved results in the image to video generation process. The orientation of the output should match the input. Landscape input should produce landscape output and portrait input should produce portrait output. The size can be adjusted accordingly. Let's revisit the prompt used, hamburger in one hand. She slowly licks her finger with a playful expression of, okay, and now, 
let's delve into the technical settings. We're utilizing the new LoRa Select multi model for this process. Specifically, we're employing the WAN 2.2 image to video model with low noise settings. For comparison, we also have a high noise version generated with the same parameters. Both versions utilize six steps a shift value of eight and uni PC sampling. Furthermore, I've incorporated for enhanced results. These settings are consistent across both the low and high noise examples. The various components of the generation process are interconnected. If desired, you can decouple certain aspects and introduce different prompts for potentially more diverse outcomes. For instance, the video length and frames per second are adjustable. In this example, the length is set to 20 seconds with an FPS of 21. If a 30 second video is desired, the length can be adjusted to 30 and the FPS can be lowered to accommodate VRAM limitations. This adjustment depends on the available resources of your graphics card. The resulting video from the initial prompt displays the subject licking her finger excessively. This is a direct consequence of the prompt focusing solely on the licking action. To achieve a more varied sequence of actions, the prompt needs to be expanded to include other activities. This will prevent the repetitive licking motion throughout the 20 second duration. This particular generation was performed on an RTX 4090 GPU, and the entire process, including all generations, took approximately 8 to 10 minutes. The output video is 19 seconds long, slightly shorter than the specified 20 seconds. Now, let's explore another example. I maintain that a shift value of 12 is the optimal choice for this process. The previous examples used a shift value of 8, and while the results were acceptable, they lacked a certain level of refinement. The second example, also 19 seconds long, demonstrates the limitations of a less descriptive prompt. The generated video is suboptimal due to the lack of detail and direction provided in the prompt. The quality of the prompt directly influences the quality of the output. The previous examples, however, showcase the potential of this method when combined with a well-crafted prompt. The generated videos, despite the finger licking repetition, demonstrate the impressive capabilities of the LoRa Select multi model and the WAN 2.2 image to video model. The ability to control parameters like video length, FPS, and noise levels provides significant creative control over the final output. Further experimentation with different prompts and settings is encouraged to fully explore the potential of this powerful image to video generation technique. If you found this video informative and helpful, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.